you're gonna be so hard for me to win. I know, but you have to trust that I'm making the best decision for us. Hey. You trust me, right? out here. I'm acting like we didn't used to do this all the time. Trust me. You don't think I can handle this. You don't think I can handle what's mine? Oh. You don't think I'm a man? No one's changing their minds here. All I'm saying is, gentrification is not just a bad thing. It does a lot of good for the neighborhood. Ah, yeah, while forcing all of the families that are from Brooklyn and Harlem out of their homes. Yeah, I don't understand why the people of color have to be out of the area for them to finally fix it up. Well, the people that are moving in are bringing a lot of money into the neighborhood. And that's what it's all about, Jackson, huh? Just forget about the families that were born and raised there, huh? Yeah, just move in white people bring in more white businesses, raise the rent, and... Okay, okay. Look, I get both sides of it, you know? No one should be forced out of their home. But, you know, the neighborhoods are safer now and better developed. You know, there's fitness studios, wine bars, Whole Foods... And these white women with these little shorts? I can't. I, I simply... I can't. See, this is why I didn't want to talk about this. Alicia and Quincy, what were y'all going to tell us? So you're having a baby? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Babe, you tell him. All right, y'all. So, you know, me and Alicia have been having a few financial problems. And, uh, um... We just can't afford New York City rent anymore. So what does that mean? We're moving. Where, Brooklyn? BX. We're moving to Atlanta. <laughs> what? That can't be the only option. We've explored all the options, bro. No, y'all come live with me. Yeah, we're not trying to do that. A couple living with their friend is not a good look. Girl, who cares about what's a good look? Y'all can't just pack up after five years in and New move York. move to Atlanta. We said we'd do that once we have kids. I'll ask again. Shut up, Darius. We have to do what's best for us. And our pockets. So when are y'all leaving? Four months, so that gives us plenty of time to turn up until then. Yeah, guys. Whatever, I'm losing everywhere but where I want to lose. My stomach. Girl, that's always the hardest part. 
I say we go to Mexico for a quick tuck. <laughs> Quincy will have a fit if I got any work done. He don't have to know. Trust me, he would. Nice one? Nice ain't the word. She had these beautiful natural curls. Those lips. Hmm, <sighs> good conversation, huh? <laughs> I don't remember what we were talking about. So what happened, man? Well, uh, she just texted me that she left the key with the door, man. Damn, you stay getting chicks on the first night. And let me guess, you ain't planning to see her again. Well, uh, I'll see her again. Somewhere. <laughs> so, y'all not really leaving, right? You think we just made that announcement for nothing? Nah, we can't let that happen. I'm with Jordan on this, Alicia. Y'all can't leave New York. Look, man, 2000 a month for rent was cool when our business was doing well. How times are rough. So just get a job. Come on, man. I'm an entrepreneur. I don't work for nobody. And I don't want my girl to either. But your concierge business is not going to be as successful out there as it is here in New York. You're not going to get these rich white people to help plan their park picnics and make sure their dry cleaning is picked up. You'd be surprised how many wealthy people are in Atlanta. And we'd be able to build a name for ourselves there. Because there isn't much competition. And we'll be spending at least 1000 less for rent. So that's less to worry about. Yeah, but you'll be in Atlanta, not New York. That's the rub. <laughs> We'll still visit you guys. Seeing you guys once or twice a year won't be the same as our monthly hangouts. Our weekly happy hours? This ain't a breakup, man. I'm just saying, bro. It won't be the same if you guys pick up and leave New York. What's going on, man? Look. <sighs> That's why your boy is here. I got just a little gig that I'll help y'all out. <laughs> nah, I ain't talking about my line of work. I can live this life if you try. But for real though, for this, all you gotta do is talk. Alish, what if I told you I had an easy way for you to make enough money to pay your rent? Nothing's easy in New York, but I'm listening. All you'd have to do is sit down for a little chat. Chat. Okay, maybe a few chats. A chat with who, Jordan? This doctor, Arthur, shrink type lady, my boy told me about is a real come up. All you gotta do is talk about relationships, dating, stuff like that. At the end of it, you get five stacks. Five G's, just to talk. Sign me up. Something don't sound right. I mean, it's a little bit more than that. More like 10 sessions, and the lady's trying to figure you out. Analyzing you? <laughs> yeah, well, more like interviewing you. Interviewing for what, though? Like. What are these sessions leading up to? <laughs> See? That's the catch. A reality show? Hell no. <laughs> Wait, girl, hear me out. Nope, not gonna happen. Alicia, it's not some wig snatching, Jocelyn slapping, Stevie J tea sipping type show. It's a legit classy show where this therapist, who's a best selling author, I might add, analyzes your dating life and helps you with any issues you may be having. Nah, I can't do that, man. It's that Donald Trump Shark Tank type shit. A reality show people respect. Let's all get this bread, man. Man, Felicia heard I wanted to do a reality show and talk about our problems. Yo, she would flip. Yo, first of all, she'd be like, what problems? Uh, and she ain't for putting our business out there like that. Man, she ain't gotta know unless you actually decide to do the reality show. At the end of it, we all walk away with five racks anyway. Hey man, that actually doesn't sound like too much of a bad idea. It'll buy you some more time here in New York. Five G's. I'll do it too if it'll keep you here longer. And I'll give you my racks. Man, I'll do it too. I mean, I'll give you half. Because ain't nobody got it like Jack. <laughs> <laughs> so I wouldn't have to actually go on the show. Nope. Like I said, money just to talk. I've been getting emails about it all week. I said we do it. And Quincy would feel some type of way if I told him about this. He said he doesn't want me doing nothing extra to try to keep us in the city. 
Why? He tried. He said if we stay, he wants it to be because of him. Look, he won't be saying nothing when you come home with them 10 Gs. Just don't say anything until then. I thought you said five. Me and Ma don't give you part of ours. Right, Ma? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Girl, bye. <laughs> I'm Sydney Smith, and over the next 10 weeks, I'll be presenting you with data and asking you a series of questions about your love life. You will get very personal. I want to know why your past relationships failed, what you're doing to become a great life partner, your sexual desires, your dating fears, and a plethora of other information you probably haven't shared with anyone. I want you to be 100% honest, because if you're not, I'll know. I've been doing this a long time. Each of the sessions will be recorded for study purposes only. At the end of the sessions, you will receive your money and possibly a spot on my new show. Okay. Let's get started. Name. Jordan Samuels. Age. 29. Relationship status. Single, and staying that way for a while. Jackson Thomas, 29 years old, single, and enjoying it. <laughs> Quincy Scott, 25, in a relationship. Is it healthy? Very. Monica Lee, 28. It's, uh, complicated. Darius Wilson, 30, single. Yeah, definitely single. Alicia Davis, 26, in a relationship and loving every minute of it. Do you think it's true that most people settle down after six dates around the one to two month mark? Uh, it wasn't for me. Uh... It took us almost two years to become official. Two years? We were in college and he just wasn't ready. It probably is true, which is why I don't go on more than three, maybe four dates with the same woman. It confuses things, you know? And I like to manage expectations. I gotta go home, Jackson. That was a nice stress reliever, but I have a million things to do. Oh. Forget all about all that. <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, by the way, Jackson, my coworker is getting married, and I was wondering if you could be my plus one. Hello? Thanks for asking. But, uh, I don't really do stuff like that. Stuff like watch two people celebrate love? No. I mean, I don't do stuff like that with women I'm not really seeing. Ugh. Terry, don't be mad. It's just a rule of mine. Oh, so I'm good enough to ride your face, but I'm not good enough to go out with you in public? It's not like that. Bye, Jackson. Hell no, nah, dudes ain't wife and chicks up after six dates. Clearly black people weren't surveyed. Dudes be wanting you to wait forever for their asses. That's why I don't let them waste my time. That's not true for me. It's been over a year and I still don't have the title. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Killing my 
vibe with all this sadness. What? I'm good. Mm-hmm. I just can't believe he go almost three days without hitting me up. I can believe it. Not even a text, though. It's just disrespectful. You allow it. Should I do a smoky eye? Yeah, that'd be cute. You think he's smashing other chicks? Look, I got two hot dates tonight and you about to put me in my I hate men zone. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who are these guys again? Some dudes I met on Tinder. One's a civil engineer and the other's a photographer. <laughs> you are certainly exploring your options. Have to, girl. Making somebody grow up to only six dates? That's stupid. There's no way to tell that she's even a one. So, how do I look? Amazing as usual. I'm just so sick of this shit. Again, I don't feel like dealing with this. You know what you need to do. Put your feelings at your feet and walk. I think I'm really done this time. <sighs> okay, Mom. Hey, dude. What up, Jordan? What's your cook, babe? Why are you here? Ah, uh, since when is it a problem? Since I haven't seen or heard from you in three days. You haven't even picked up your phone. Man, you know what I'm out here doing. I don't, though. I'm trying to stack, get money, so I'll take care of you and become wifey. Uh, I'm not even officially your girl, so you could stop with the wife bullshit. Man. That's why I don't have a girl. So I'm asking you again, why are you here? Come here. I'm good. Monica, come here. Come here, please. I'm sorry. Man, look, babe, I'm going to do better, all right? I'm going to do better about answering my phone. I just don't be thinking about it when I'm out here handling my business. But I promise I'll do better. I know you think I'm out here smashing these other bitches, but I'm not. So why can't you commit to me, Darius? I just can't focus on a relationship right now. But when I get everything together, I know I still love you. Please. Come on. Um, black men don't really do the we're exclusive now thing. They love to say we're talking. Like, what does that even mean? My boyfriend and I were talking for way longer than we should have been. And I can't lie and say that it was easy either. It's tough when you're 100% sure a person's the one, but they aren't so sure about you. It's not that I didn't think she was the one. It's just I had some things I had to get out of my system first. I knew after a couple months I wasn't letting her go, though. Yeah, I knew she was my girl. Deaf. Sound. Back in the day. Back, 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 back in the day. This is our story, you know? Back in the day. We don't have our own beginning. Hey, babe. Smells good. Oh. 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 <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Just sit down and relax, okay? Okay. 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 Candles. You went all out. What'd you do? I hate when you ask that. Can I just randomly do something nice? I'm, I'm just playing, babe. Thank you. You, you spoil me. I do. I really do. You could call it money, baby. I just call it. You know, our friends are really upset that we're leaving. Yeah, I know. You got me thinking. You second-guessing the move? I don't know, man. Maybe it's just not time. I just, I gotta figure some things out first. Babe, let's figure something out together. Alicia, no. You focus on the business, I got this. 
Okay. You got this. Thank you. For what? Always letting me be the man. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this meal that we're about to receive. We ask that it be nourishing and strengthened towards our bodies, Lord. We thank you for this beautiful evening.